Hi friends, today we are going to talk about some one major change that has happened in, in the end of the year is the Brexit. So uh, Great Britain is going away from the European Union and there's some changes that you have to do. And this is one of the changes that you have to do. Uh, I will uh, not tell about much about what is the country code or I support for Northern Ireland because it has not been provided properly by SAP. So, but this is for sure, this is the change that you have to do. As stated above, the EU, this thing would change. And what you have to do, you don't want to change this because it will happen. Uh, st I think the effective date is 31st January 2021 for this uh, for this process. Okay, so now what we have to do is for sure this table needs to be maintained for Northern Ireland. Okay, now what happened is Northern Ireland doesn't have an ISO code. So how will you maintain this? So how you maintain this T001Z is very simple. It's a little tricky for any FI person. It's very easy. But if, if you haven't maintained something, so you can just pick a company code. So if I, if I tell you, if I go to SPRO, I go to financial accounting, I go to financial accounting global setting, and I go to global parameters, and I click on the for company code. Okay. Now here I select, suppose this is a Northern Ireland company code. If you see the country key, um, we don't have anything country key for Northern Ireland. That's the problem, okay? So now here, if you click on additional data, so this has problem, uh, let's see what's the problem, uh, I can see. So here you have to page down and there would be a field called this X. XI VAT number that you have to populate okay so in order to populate that field you have to go to this this transaction code this this you have to go to SM30 and you have to create an entry for this parameter ID maintain and then you put the country key and all those things and then you get all this information so this is just the tip of the iceberg you have lots of changes that you have to do in the Brexit you need to check the OSS notes and SAP will provide you for the details. This is what I got out from OSS notes and I'm sharing this information. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a